So this is a rub rail that I, I came up with for my old my old boat that I picked up from some guy. It's you know just a cheap old boat, and uh, I just thought I'd show it to everybody here. Show you how I did it. Obviously, you can see pretty much what it's already about. And down here on the table, I've got pretty much everything I needed to, to do the job. Here's one of those uh, uh, things that guys do it on hacks, you know, just putting a razor blade on the side of a board. It's a three-quarter inch wide board, which really worked well for what I was doing. Of course, a tape measure. I got some uh, aluminum rivets. Had to make some washers. They didn't have any at the place, but these are about an inch and a quarter long almost. They got a pretty good long grip. Better than a three-quarter, maybe a seven-eighths grip. Uh, of course, a gizmo to do that. A couple clamps and everything. And um, so what I'll do is uh, I'll show you now what I used and how I did it. Okay, so first off, I took my little handy-dandy uh, uh, blade here. And uh, this is the material I use. This is a, is a, uh, a landscape product that uh, they use for putting down in the grass, you know, and your, maybe your uh, plants or flowers or whatever is on one side and your grass is on the other side. And my brother gave me a bunch of this. It comes pretty cheap. You, you get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, some of those stores, and it comes in a 40-foot roll, and it's pretty cheap. I mean, I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that for a 40-foot roll. You could do a lot of boat with 40 feet of this stuff. So uh, this is what I used. So I take the... Uh, Take this gizmo, this blade here, and I kind of hold it at an angle. I don't hold it flat. I hold it at an angle like that so I can cut down in here and not leave any uh, any uh, edge that held this up. So I'm just going to cut across here, holding that up. Cuts pretty easy. Might take a couple times. And uh, I already, okay, so there's that, you see what that's like. Then I'll take the same blade and I'm going to hold it different now. I'll hold it like this and that's what's going to cut this off. So let's do that. Got it. By golly, we got it. Okay. All right. So there's our item. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, put it on the boat and uh, show you how we attach it. All right. So this is this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing, getting this to fit up in here, and um, but uh, it goes. And it's not that difficult, but eventually it goes. There you go. All right, so that's in place, and uh, now. This aluminum right here, I picked it up at the metal store, you know. It's a uh, half inch wide, eight in, eighth inch thick, and it just seems to work well. They had different different sizes there, but uh, I went with this. So what I do now, I'm gonna just get some of the clamps and uh, clamp this to it. Eventually. Okay. All right. It's starting to look like it. Yeah. Push this up in place. There it goes. 
Golly, it's looking good. All right, so you can tell from here on out, I've spaced the rivets every foot and uh, putting a washer on the back side. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, this up here, a lot of this garbage here, uh, I got my knife. And uh, I use this while well, since I got it here, but I just come across here, you know, and uh, cut this edge off. To be well, my other knife does better than that. So cut that off, get rid of all that garbage there, and uh, and that, that part's done. Now, what I did was is in doing this uh, I found that once I got this part done uh, the flat side or the straight side that was easy I had a little problem when I came around the corner here because that round plastic didn't want to bend as well even though it's easily bendable it didn't want to so I had a little bump in there and I ended up using um, some heavy nylon rope and I went inside here pulled this back and I went inside and I put that rope inside there just about a foot and a half or two feet of it just to go around this turn so it keeps this nice little shape here and uh, it looks good you can see when I trimmed all this off here it looks much better I was going to put some black silicone in there but gee at 12 13 bucks for a tube of that stuff maybe not but um so that's it. Now, you did get a little, couple little bumps here. Now, I've cut some of them out by the end, but down here, like, there's a little tiny bump here. I put a little wedge cut in there. That, that goes up. I've already done a bunch of them, or two or three of them. And then up front here, I'm just going to come around with the other side of rub rail, meet up with this really nice, and, um, and then I'll probably bend this over just so the joint is not here also. So we'll bend that over and make that look like a nice finished product. Now, my opinion, uh, for being in it for about uh, $50, that beats $400. And that's what uh, I was looking to spend if I went and got the real stuff. Uh, chose not to do that and uh, came up with this. Now, unfortunately for me, my brother gave me a whole box of this stuff here because he didn't want it. And uh, so I had it sitting around and then trying to figure out what I was going to do for a rub rail. I looked at that and I came up with a couple of different ways. I said, man, that's the way right there. And uh, so, I don't know, guys. Try it if you like it, you know, and, and see. Like I say, it really made a, a nice looking little rub rail for me. I'm proud of it. And uh, just carry on. Uh, do a good job. And talk to you all later. Thank you.